<laughs> yeah, <laughs> or checking things. Oh, okay. Our next guest has been in such films as Serpico and Animal House, but she's probably best known as the Jean Nate girl on the Jean Nate commercials. Here is Mary Louise Weller. Hi. What are you here to plug, Mary Louise? Yeah. Big round of applause. Ah, thank you, thank you. Um, getting the the part in uh, J series. You're going to dye your hair. Yeah. Say, well, forget about sending your pictures. It's all <laughs> over with. No. I think the problem is that you're just too beautiful. Ah. Uh, no, I think it's going to be a problem for the other girls. Really. What other girls? The other girls, we're going to have six girls in every show, and if they get a look at you, I think they'll all quit. I don't think they want the competition. Pay them more. Well, okay, I'll go back and talk to Columbia. That's well, with six girls in, in each episode, I think Mary Louise can get in at least one episode. I could stay up. Oh, late. no, that's not it. It's just if she plays Velda, yeah. the others will feel that they're just not going to look good against someone that beautiful. Oh, see, that's, oh, that's just a good point. a real bad actress. You say we need a good actress. That's what you do. You say we need a good actress. <laughs> see, Mary Louise nothing. actually is here to plug nothing. <laughs> Absolutely actually nothing. Actually, you're looking for a job is what it is. I couldn't get out of the building. They lock it. You know, know. six o'clock. That's it. And I knew you were here. You brought your lovely ball gown and everything. This is, I was just wearing this to go to the bank. Really? No one believes us. You don't ride horses in that outfit. Oh, I do. You do? Oh, I do. I've got to see this. I've got to <laughs> see get this. Get them to do anything. You started out as a model, and then you got getting. No, I started acting. out as an actress. An actress, and yeah. then modeling. Yeah. Yeah. And then back into acting. Yeah. So I'm being very serious. <laughs> Okay. Is that is that a tough thing to do? You would know about that one. About it's real tough because they don't and... take you seriously as an actress. Yeah. If you've made money as a model, I think. Is mm -hmm. that still true? I think usually if you've started as a model, they worry because models, when they go into an office, it's all in how they look. They don't try to give you anything else. They say, here's my pictures, and they show you someone saying, no, your look is right, it's wrong. Yeah. But an actress has to come in and in about two to three minutes give you what's inside of her, the essence of who she is, and models are trained the opposite way. They're using yes, different yeah, muscles. Look exactly. Good. Yeah, it's yeah. just on my look. Do you like my look or you don't like my look? And an actress has to make some kind of contact with you. Yeah. And like Mary Louise was in a where she came in the other day, and she's so good because she knows how to make contact with people and to show them who she is. Did you have a... Did you get all that? Yeah, she's she's got it all. She's got it all. It's on tape. I can look, look at it again and again and <laughs> learn it. You can. <laughs> now, you, you... Okay, so you went from actress to model. Yeah. Now, was that tough for you? Uh, no, I did a lot of voiceovers. So did that and then I did all you know like trying to get the Swedish girls that couldn't speak English lip sync that and then they said oh god you could wear mascara that wasn't hard no why are you looking at her no I'm looking over there they I hold see. things up I have to look and see what they're telling me what are they telling me uh, nothing they're hiding it now <laughs> it's very cross your legs this is much like a, a uh uh, <laughs> <laughs> you ruined one of our guests his career is down the tubes <laughs> Okay. All right. Now, yeah, let's, now let's be real serious here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm here to plug nothing. You are no, absolutely, I mean, you just came by. Could not get out of the building. You won't believe me. You have nothing to plug. What about I Jean Nate? You're allowed to talk about Jean Nate? Yeah. yeah. They pay me all this money, and they try to kill me every time they use me. Why? Because they pay me all this money. Just get rid of her. Get, get right. somebody else in there. <laughs> right. That's a pretty, it's an ongoing thing then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's great. Oh, it's wonderful. How many of those commercials have you done? Ah, uh, four or five. No. They're all cash register. Cash register, register yeah. Mm. Get all these plugs in. <laughs> well, that helps support, that helps support your, your, what do you have, a horse farm? How do you, you and, and my you heroin call? habit. And your, and your heroin <laughs> habit. Yeah. Well, which is greater, the horse farm or the heroin habit? Well, the heroin is cleaner. Just, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> no shovels. <laughs> well, it depends how big your habit is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. We're just this kidding. Is the same end. Can they get that on the? We're just kidding. No, we don't want to show. <laughs> Somebody did it last. We're getting rid of that picture anyway. Okay. After after this week, we're getting rid of it. The Jean Nate thing is great because it's it's. Oh, Jean Nate. Yeah, yeah. It's a little more expensive. Oh. Jean Nate. They the their campaign is between you and Jean Nate. There's nothing you can't do. So they keep coming up with real tough physical things to do, and I have to do them all. I mean, they don't double me. So they, uh, the last one was a dirt bike, and they said, you know how to ride a bike, and I thought, that bicycle. I said, yeah, sure, sure. So they put me on a prototype Yana, Yamaha, <laughs> right? 
my feet didn't touch the ground and it had no idle. And they've got bad guys trying to push me off a cliff, Indian dunes and a helicopter and exploding and... Would you let your clients do that? How much money? A lot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's stable coats for your family forever, no matter if they kill you or not. You know, it's, <laughs> it's that's too much. Lean cuisine forever. Well, what are you What are you doing with the uh, the Olympics this year? Are you thinking about getting into going the back? Yeah. I rode on the team when I was a kid, and there were no domestic games, and uh, it cost a lot of money to the equestrian team. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's here. Right. You know? Next year. Yeah. So but you're really seriously thinking about giving it a shot. But you need one or two real good horses, and I don't know. But you own a bunch of horses. Yeah, but they're all terrible. Yeah. Well, they can't. What about do you own? Too many. Just. Um, what did you tell me downstairs? Between nine. Nine to fourteen, depending to 14. on whether some have sold or ones that I was looking at, and I'll buy like that. It takes a lot of time and energy to take care of that many horses, doesn't it? Well, you pay a lot of people. No, but you still are very involved. You worry a lot. Do you know their names? A client of mine, Lin know. Linda Blair, has horses. Is she well, the I same know, kind yeah, of horses? Jumpers. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, because that's her, her main thing. In fact, she called because Sylvester Stallone came to one of the jumping Grand things Prix. recently. Yeah. And he was interested, and she said, you know, if he wanted to call to... Why I think he, he wanted to he buy... He I don't know what he was doing. As an I think he wanted to probably buy some horses as an investment. It's a good investment. I think you have to look at him because... No, no, I'm, list, I'm just sitting here listening. I'm just trying <laughs> to think of who I talked to recently whose name I can mention. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys are here. Let me say. Sly. <laughs> Sly. How is staying alive if you see anybody? Oh, I didn't I see, it. see it. I yeah. heard some folks that saw it said it wasn't that good. Really? Yeah. Oh, God, he looks so But then we saw on TV, the one guy that's the big TV critic here, or movie mm -hmm. critic here in mm -hmm. town, said it was great. He gave it a 10. Which yeah. one? Gary Franklin. Gary Franklin on, on Channel 7, right? Yeah, and the Herald Examiner. Two. Oh, it doesn't matter. The oh. folks in Bemidji, yeah. what channel? <laughs> right. <laughs> the Herald Examiner didn't like it. So it's, I don't know, it I guess it's mixed. Yeah, whatever. What's the audience, really, that's going to yeah. be? Well, we wish you a lot of luck with the upcoming TV series. Well, thank you. Okay. Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer. Oh, it's got to be it's got to be. Right. It. And Mary Louise, thank you for coming by and plugging nothing. Just let me out. Okay, we open the door for you now. We got all the work out that we can today, so you're gone. And we have a gold shovel for you that we want to take, take back to the barn. Justine Bateman from uh, Family Ties when we come back. Thank you.